Good morning. So last week I was driving and I seen a bunch of uh, anti-choice folks pretending like they understand the issue of pro-life and reproductive rights. Anyway, for folks who don't know, in the city of Calgary, we have this new bylaw so that you're not allowed to mail, you know, those graphic images of, of false abortions into the mailboxes. But, you know, you can have big protest signs and do it on, uh, you know, major corridors during rush hour traffic. That's fine. So I wrote the city, specifically my counselor and the mayor, to let them know that that's happening because I knew the bylaw didn't cover it. And I got mansplained, of course, by the city. Well, well you have to use the uh, bylaw because that's the only way we can possibly record it because my emails aren't good enough, right? My engagement with my city councillors, my engagement on Twitter that resulted me in getting blocked years ago. You know, that's not good enough. You have to do it their way. And you know, I actually explained to them multiple times that uh, their city staff, that the bylaw officers, the Calgary police need some severe, um, you know, anti-racism training, some severe, uh, you know, anti-sexist training. It goes in one ear and out the other because they're pretty committed to, uh, you know, patriarchy and hate. So, I just uh, got yet another response, and it's just coincidentally the fifth anniversary of the National Inquiries report. So, you know, call to action 57 that they got way back in 2015 of, you know, education for their um, city staff and, and public servants. You know, that's going well. And, uh, and just so you know, like, honestly, I, I have read other people claim that these pro-life movement folks they get actually paid to do that. And um, I, apparently the CBC published something about, you know, Palestinians being professional protesters. And I, man, I am so disappointed with the city, the media, how people don't see this as a root issue. It's all interconnected. But everybody's cool with it, right? We have over a million people in Calgary. And apparently I'm the only person who has decided to take up, you know, the time to write an email. Only to be mansplained by the city that, well, that's, that's not following our proper protest. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, come on, guys. We just really committed to allowing a bunch of jerks to, whether they're freedom fighters, anti-vaxxers, yellow vesters. You're just loving these white male folks who can put up this crap. But our people are in the landfills. Joey English is in the landfill. I've been advocating for this for years. It's gone in one ear, out the other. I went to this, you know, outreach session yesterday for Palestinians. And uh, the people who should have been there weren't there. And, you know, there's, there's never going to be an apology to Indigenous people for ignoring our voices for the last 10 years. And I told them, no matter how many times you stub me, stab me in the back, twist it, take it out, pull it back in, I am going to be for Palestinians, even though it's not safe on my own lands to have my own child at some of these rallies. You know, it, it, the racism, the sexism, it's really bad in the city. And everybody thinks it's totally fine. Nobody is committed to making substantial changes. It's just disappointing.